Hey guys, I learned about a new feature in Google Chrome. It's called the reading list. Basically, it lets you take any website that you want to save and actually save it offline. What this means is even if you lose your internet connection, you'll be able to go to your reading list and read those articles. So I just picked one on ESPN because going to news websites now uh, causes controversy. So we'll, we'll go with sports. All right, so to, to save this to your reading list, all you do is you click on the bookmark star up here where you're presented with the old choice, which is bookmark, which is great, but it's a live bookmark. Meaning when you click on it, it always takes you to the newest page and you have to be online. Add to reading list is right here. You select that, okay? And then it puts it in your reading list. Your reading list appears on your bookmarks toolbar all the way to the right. And you can see the sites you put on your reading list and when you put them on your reading list, and those are stored offline so that you can read them later, even if you don't have an internet connection. The Infinite Campus has a new look. So I'm first going to show you the control center. The, your classes have been blocked together with some new infographics. If you do not like these, you can toggle the new control center off. Um, one cool thing is now they have some um, pictures to get you quick links. So, for example, this will bring you to an attendance screen where you can quickly take your attendance. There is an icon for you to score assignments and an icon to check student discussions if you do hold them on Infinite Campus. In the upper right-hand corner of your classes, you'll see a settings gear, which allows you to pick an infographic and a color for your classes. Most of the changes you're going to see are when you go to add a new assignment. Uh, same self-explanatory titling, summarizing assignments, attaching content or tasks in the details. Most of this, I think, will seem pretty self-explanatory to you. Um, if you need help going through it, of course, please contact us. But I'm going to show you the two major changes. Um, they include when you make things visible to the class or when you include it in a grade calc. If you toggle these buttons off and save this assignment, it will not show up in the gradebook. Okay, as you see here, that assignment I added did not show up here, but it is saved in the list um, view here for me to look at. Okay, test for Vanessa Kramer and it's hidden. That's a major change. Another major change you will see in your gradebook is um, the availability to add other sections to an assignment. Um, if you notice here, uh, it doesn't say that I have any. It says available to edit after saving. So once you make your assignment and you save it, once you make your assignment and save it, okay, it gives you the option to click to add or edit sections. So then you have to click add, and you'll see nothing up here is a pops up, but down here in the bottom it says to add sections. So here is where you have the ability to add other sections that you want to give the same assignment to you will click OK and you will hit Save Changes. And those are the major changes that I've learned about Infinite Campus this week. GoFormative can also be used for student note-taking or annotation. If you insert a Show Your Work question, you can edit the background and insert images. You can upload them from your drive or any document I'm actually going to upload a PDF with three pages and show you what happens. When I add the three images, they're very small. But if I'm on the Move tool, I can click on it and move all three of these over. Now, still, they're pretty tiny. So what I would do is resize. So now I have all three pages of my notes in one question on GoFormative. Now on the student side, they have a show your work question. And now they can actually use the zoom tool to click on it and the hand tool to move the whole image over. And they can do any of the work here. And they can actually, when they're done with this page of notes, move over to the next page and move over to the next page. And all of their work will be saved in that one question. Pretty cool.